Mulroney vs. Horsehorn and I'm gonna cast this game with the Swarm so let me just get him into the call real quick and Hello? Oh, hi Kevin, how are you doing? Fine, thank you, and you? Nice, a bit tired, but... <laughs> <laughs> Can you yeah. hear me well? Yeah, should be fine. Okay. Let me see. So, do you know anything about Moroni? I don't have an idea how he plays. <laughs> yes, um, he used to be Riley uh, last year, then he changed his nickname and he's oh, yeah. been practicing. Actually, he's, uh, he probably started playing at about the same time as I did, which was last year. Um, we used to play public games together and then I, I kind of learned how to play a little bit better and I've been helping him. Um, he's improved a lot, so it should be fun. Uh, he has some weird all-ins and oh, that's always good. weird choices, yes. It's always funny. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it's definitely going to be entertaining. <laughs> hey, your mic is a bit broken, I guess. <laughs> it's a bit what? Some weird noises are going on on your end. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, I don't hear you at all. All right. He seems to have some phone issues, so we might get him into the call later. So let's have a look at the game. Um, oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, nothing crazy happened so far. House on Sponker took a bit of damage here, but yeah, he's actually pushing here, and we get some damage on Ron Sponker as well. A lot of damage actually here. <laughs> a lot of players are going for Marauders these days for some reason. They are pretty good because uh, a techno slows down here, slows units down. And yeah, playing Marauders early game is <laughs> become standard now. So Marauder just Marauder Marine, no sentries on this, this side, which I don't. Oh, that's a bit strange. It goes for a huge circling attack here. I will see if he can get something done with it. But not against this Albert <laughs> here. The Zerklings are not used in any role here. We usually use them to dump human units, but not to attack units. Because they just get so hard countered by fire by helmets and reapers and yeah, it's basically it. Zerklings. Yeah, but yeah, it doesn't have anything to do with the helmets here. And they will roast the bunker together with the banshees and the reapers in the back. So, this took the bankers at 6 minutes, which is pretty good. Gives you a nice income advantage. And... Yeah, the banshees are not doing too much here. Just getting cleaned off. So, yeah, Hearthstone definitely has the edge here. I mean, I will see if he can just keep up this income advantage, not throwing it away. And 
Yeah, a lot of hydras here. Uh, hydras have become a bit, a bit better now because they have uh, a higher range. It's getting too hot. Which, yeah, makes a huge impact actually. Yeah, yeah I see what Kevin meant with strange style. <laughs> the Hellions definitely look a bit strange at this point. So, there's the Banshees, uh, with the Hellions. With the Hydrarist, there we go. And yeah, the Hellions did a lot of work here to the, the light units, but yeah, they can't contest this. The go Goliaths here, but yeah, just uh, the Hydra stealing a lot of damage from the back here. And yeah, but you won't push through the squad will clean up the Benjis, and the Goliaths will work on the remaining ones. If you get the bunker early, you just the only way to even out the income if if you get the other bunker real quick. So the income with branches doesn't matter because both players have it. But if you can't do this, then yeah, well, Arsenal should be a bit ahead here as soon as he spawns in the next wave. And he's holding it back to so about to double spawn. So he has like two to three hundred income, I would assume. Actually, they look pretty even. Yeah, he invested a lot of manchies and or only didn't, so maybe that was the oh, yeah. A lot of high templars here. They should be great against Hyros so because they only have 80 HP. Maybe. Yeah, they just melt in the storms. It's pretty nice. Defense is bunker a little bit longer. They just don't care about the Hydras attacking the bunker here and the base. It's, <laughs> it's pretty funny. So and there we go. Only eventually get the bunker with some primal zerglings, but that won't matter that much at this point. And Hassan getting his income lead here now. He's already at 5k. We're only just going to hit the 4k mark now with this wave. We have some screws here to smash these. Hello? Hi. Did you fix it? <laughs> or maybe. Me? Yeah, I hear you. A bit. Better? A bit low, the so what? <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't see <laughs> your voice is pretty quiet, so I can't really understand what you're saying. So you are on your phone or what? Yes, I'm on the on my phone. <laughs> yeah, that might explain it. I don't know if you can turn the volume up. Don't think so. We'll figure it out for the second game. There were some strange noises again. Oh, he just had to call. Yeah, he's having some issues here. Oh. We're only getting some diamond bags, which cleaned up everything here. Quite a lot of. Which will put him further behind on income. But <laughs> yeah, he's just killing everything in the way here. Yeah, they got five attacks and one shots everything basically. So I <laughs> thought we should deal with this unless this will just kill him. But Urun's lifting it up. Yeah. Pretty funny way. Usually I would have gotten some immortals maybe. Yeah. Uh, Urun's are fine things. Hassan didn't take any damage from the diamond bags, so he should be in a pretty good spot with a nice income lead here. So he should be able to get his heroes out earlier, which can snowball pretty quick if you don't respond in time. So, let's see, 
Hassan already get got our 8k minerals banked up, so we will get the heroes at any time he wants now. Rowan is doing so as well, but yeah, he doesn't have that much income. Can't hold him alone. So get me out of here. He might not be able to catch up with the early heroes from from Hassan. And there we go. Artana is zero two and. I only make two heroes, which is pretty smart, because if your opponent nukes them, you can still make a second uh, research. And yeah, make him waste the nuke, because at this point, one hero will just kill every low tier units waves here. Uh, Moroni went two for two on damage here, as we see. No, how's on it? Don't know what Moroni went for. I usually go for that as well, just go with uh, extra units on in the early game and then add damage. It's pretty nice. Only damage in early game is not good. It's, yeah. it's just not that strong. Damage really comes into play in the late game. Really. So, Hassan here, sieging more in space with Atalus and Kerrigan and some. He has three units. We're only shielding. Which is probably alright. Because he does, can't deal with the heroes here and the amount of units. And getting some mutes to repair. I think there are too many mutes. He should rather, rather seen him making some heroes if he got minerals. No, he doesn't. That's quite a problem. And some Ulvans as well. So that Looks not really good for Moroni here. His base is taking huge amounts of damage, the diamond spec won't, <laughs> won't do the job. Yeah. Awesome, just nukes, and that's a 1 0 lead for him. And go to a short break. Let's see you in game number 2. I'm back to game number 2. and. There we go. From Moroni with Hassan. Hassan is currently up 1 0. With pretty uh, impressive performance. It's pretty solid play. Taking out the bunker early and then just playing it out by getting in the mid game with getting heroes. So, nothing too crazy. So, we see if Moroni can even the series out or if he will fall down. players went for extra units, like always. So nothing crazy happened so far. Some helmets here. I don't like the helmets at this point. Because there were only a few marines which won't deal significant damage to the bunker. And now the helmets will just get cleaned up. And then the second half of the wave will get cleaned up. So either, or, either he holds the helmets back and spawns us together or he waited one wave after the helmets to send another wave, so this wave of marines was just wasted. So, I know we take some more damage on the bunker. Backing it up with some SCVs, it's pretty nice. I like uh, pulling SCVs because they soak up a good amount of damage and it can make you win the fight, usually, if you do it right. Of course, pulling them into helmets is not a good idea, because you give the opponent free kills, which leads to him giving talent points earlier, and so on. So, it's not optimal, but yeah, pulling them against roaches or basically every unit that attacks slow, like stalkers, yeah, stalkers, marauders, roaches, are pretty fine. Still is getting cleaned up here by Rogers and Mephisto Terrans. He really likes his Marauders. <laughs> I wouldn't go full Marauder. <laughs> if I can say it's like that, because yeah, they have pretty far powerful attacks, but it's pretty slow. Right? They just fall down to Marines and yeah, Reapers, for example. So we need something to back them up, like other Marines or. Maybe helmets to tank the damage. And 
I don't like the junglings here. Not that good against the Reapers and Yeah, this is already failed in the first game, so it, I don't think it will do much. Yeah, just getting some habits here and cleaning them up. Giving getting some free kills. Because yeah, if you reach the three hundred you will get uh, I don't know, you won't get an talent point but you will get uh, five percent more damage on your unit. So I don't like giving your opponent free kills, as you see. Also, it's already almost 100 kills up. So, yeah, this push is pretty. Uh, yeah, you should be able to hold this. So, the circlings might do some work at this point because there are no helmets, only some reapers here. But there's some DPS behind the circling, so we will clean this up and get some damage on the marker done, I think. He won't get the bunker, but he gets the bunker pretty low, which is always nice. So you can bust it later with some banshees. It doesn't matter at this point that much. It's already six minutes in. So if he gets the bunker, he will get it at like seven hundred seven minutes or later, and then it's not that big of a deal anymore. So no banshees so far. Usually you see banshees around seven eight hundred income. Because you just kill everything on the ground, basically. Yeah, here are some banshees. Double wave banshees, but I don't like that too much, to be honest. Scorches will just kill everything off, and yeah, you don't have any targets on the ground for the morals to hit, so we just attack the bunker and kill it. If you had some ground units, then they would have attacked them, and you would have saved your bunker. Bench is clearing the whole wave though, which is pretty nice, but yeah, Scorches are already incoming to kill them. And they yeah, are pretty clumped here, so that will be pretty easy. And, oh, what? <laughs> I knew you get. Uh, I don't have words for this, that seems to be pretty dumb. It doesn't do anything. Like, he doesn't even get the bunker. And even if he did, it wouldn't have mattered at 8 minutes. Not enough to justify arresting a nuke in this. So. Yeah. Don't think that game will play out that good for Moroni here. Already being one nuke down is pretty, pretty huge. So, doesn't have anything to deal with the. Uh, Workers here, or well, the Morrows might do the job now. Workers don't have support, and then they are pretty easy to kill. Yeah, he won't even get the bunker. The nuke was just stupid. Huh. A lot of benches here from Morrowly though. Is a bit loud. Uh, I'm in a heap of trouble. So, some Hellions here from Moroni. Oh, it's a bit low. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So, yeah, Bunker is still alive. And yeah, here comes the usual mid game composition. With high Templars, Archons and Tanks and stuff. It's pretty common nowadays. It's pretty hard to make work correctly because units are pretty fast in, in this and they're pretty spread out in, in this income. So, and also I'm going for some Song Guardians. Let's see. He has some success with this push. Uh, he can afford to do this because he has a slight income lead, but you won't have it anymore after this push. But he's up one nuke, so he might be able to force out another one if Morley doesn't know how to deal with this properly. Uh, I guess this usually have to like spam Scrooge 
by getting some health angels. And that's it. Uh, Corruptors are also pretty decent, I guess. Yeah, strong guns are massive, aren't they? Yeah. That's an option too. But yeah, Scourge is also pretty good. So, yeah. That's why I'm gonna push that. Absolutely nothing here for him. It gave him a bit of ground, but uh, that usually doesn't matter that much at this point in the game. And a lot of tours incoming here. So, both players are pretty even on income here. Both have the same kills, so more talent point advantage. Just transitioning into the tier 3 units. Uh, you will destroy us and invest us and stuff. So, if Hassan can manage to keep the pressure up, like keeping Moroni here at the ramp, that's pretty good because then he can go for like double wave heroes and other shenanigans. And it looks like he does so. Just pushing. Yeah, well, we got some static defense here, which is pretty nice. We just kill everything here, usually. It's also a way of defending, but it's very defensive, so you won't be able to push out against this now. These two woods are going, <laughs> just nuking, going all in. Well, it's not really an all in. And nuking into the shield, oh man. That's not too good. And the shield seems a bit pointless. So he just has no nukes left and only two shields, while Hearthstone has still both nukes and both shields. So, and there uh, are definitely too many mules. You just need three to six to heal the base completely. Going for even more runes. Uh, I got six uh, missile turrets, so it's not gonna do that much. Yeah. I will just shield again, nuke, just doing it, doing it fast. Uh, the shield was a bit too early, he could have waited a bit, because the first one was still active. The yeah, rule only has to shield here. Oh man, I feel like, yeah, Hassan can just nuke the following wave and kill the base. He yeah, well, doesn't have minerals to make his only hero, so he won't have anything to deal with Hassan once. And yeah, that's just it. Go play by Hassan. Just capitalizing on the mistakes Mori did with the early nukes, the one race shield. Maybe with this. Yeah, he, was, he was basically missing one nuke and one shield, and that might have saved him here. But yeah, the hero full off was pretty strong, but don't know if he could have answered that. So, we well played House on takes the game to zero, and thanks for watching, and have a good night. Bye bye.